Hey, writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And in today's video, I will be doing the Titanic writing tag. I was tagged by Brooke over at By the Brook to do this. This was an original tag created by her and Destiny Murtaugh, so I will leave both of their links down below to their channels and their videos. When I saw this video, I was just like so hype because I had such a fun time uh, hearing Brooke's answers and I was just so excited to do this myself. So I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we dive right in, I wanted to say I am wearing my Constellation dress because this writing tag involves questions about my current work in progress, which is the Celestio Code. And so I wanted to dress up for that to go along with the theme of the video. All right, so question number one is Rose. Describe what makes your main protagonist internally strong. So my main character is Luchi Baruvi. She's a 16-year-old girl and she has to be internally strong because her stepdad is verbally and emotionally abusive to her and her mom and so she has to try to support the family and stand up for herself without setting off any red flags. Question number two, it's been 84 years. Does your book have flashback scenes? If not, what are some examples you reference from your character's past? So I don't have any flashback scenes, but um, I do have um, scenes of my character's memories with her father, and her father had walked out on her family when she was around seven years old, so she likes to reminisce a lot about her dad because she actually has good memories with him, like he was a good dad, he just left. Question number three, Jack, what makes your main love interest so lovable? So my main character's love interest is Rem. He's also 16 years old and she's actually Luchi's ex-boyfriend and he is a dream. I love him so much um, because he's always there for Luchi no matter what. Even though they are broken up, he's still there for her. He still wants to be her friend. He still wants to be together with her, but he tries to be as patient as he can. But he really understands Luchi and what she's going through with her home situation because his home situation situation isn't the best either. Question number four, I'm the king of the world. What line slash scene from your book could people easily quote or talk about after reading it? So I actually have been releasing quotes from the Celestial Code every Monday or so, and I tag it uh, hashtag Manuscript Monday over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, I have all of my social media links down below. But um, one of the ones that my followers seem to like the most and one of my favorites is for the first time she slept amongst and not below the stars. Oh my God, I love that one so much. <laughs> All right, question number five, my heart will go on. Do you have a forbidden romance in your book? If it's not forbidden, what obstacles m must the characters overcome to stay together? So in a way, Lucci and Rem's relationship is forbidden because the whole reason why Lucci broke up with him is because her stepdad started to show his true colors to Rem as well, and Lucci wanted to protect him and keep him out of that bad situation, so she broke up with him because she didn't want him to go through all of the emotional and verbal abuse that she has to go through. And as far as any obstacles that they must overcome, Lucci struggles with wanting to stay on Earth with all of the people that she loves, but then also trying to find her place in this new world that she's thrust into. Question number six, the heart of the ocean. Do you have a MacGuffin in your story? An object slash item the characters seem to want or care about. So I mentioned this a couple times throughout the story, but Lucci has a necklace with a ring on it that her dad had given her when she was younger because she got it when she was, you know, five or six years old, the ring is too small for her to wear now, but so she keeps it on um, a chain and she wears it as a necklace. And the ring is her birthstone, um, which is a sapphire gemstone. And she likes to wear this every day as a reminder of her dad and all of the happy good times that they had. Question number seven, paint me like one of your French girls. Gosh, that was like so corny. Okay, is there a scene in your book that you'll be embarrassed by when your family reads it? So 
In The Celestial Code, there are some kissing and cuddling scenes, but not too many, and they're pretty tame. But this is the first book in a six book series, and as the series goes on, there can be, there will be some steamier scenes. So I probably would be embarrassed, but I feel like I would be embarrassed just by these like kissing scenes, like, oh my god, like, you know, they're gonna judge me because they're like, cuddling or, you know, I feel like I would still be embarrassed even just by these very, like, innocent, lovey scenes. Question number eight, the iceberg. How do you spot plot holes or icebergs in your story and what steps do you take to fix them? Oh my god, these questions are, like, amazing. This tag is so epic. I love it so much. Um, but anyways, so, you know, I try to really outline my story really well before I start drafting as far as coming up with the rules. Since I'm writing a fantasy, I have a whole magic system and rules for the fantasy world. And so, you know, I try to maintain that consistency as I'm writing. And, you know, I haven't gotten caught with too many plot holes, thankfully, knock on wood. I've got wood right here, literally. <laughs> um, but yeah, so usually I just try to make sure that, you know, I develop these rules and that I try to follow them as I'm writing the story. Question number nine, sinking of the ship. Characters from your book that could be shipped with other book characters. <laughs> so this is a really good one and I had to think long and hard about this because I'm like, I don't know what, like who they could be with. Um, but I actually thought that Rem, you know, could be shipped with Katniss from The Hunger Games because I kind of see Lucci as similar to Katniss in that she's very strong and she kind of gets thrust into this world without, you know, really being prepared for it. But she kind of has these skills that she could use to be successful in this new world. Um, but then, you know, with Katniss, she wasn't really interested in the romance side of things with Gale and Peeta. So, you know, but but she did kind of want love, but she didn't really know. And that's kind of like Lucci too. Like she wants to be with Rem, but she also wants to protect him, but she wants to be in this new world to help save the world. So there's these conflicts that I think they have a lot in common with. So I would think Rem would go well together with Katniss. And then in turn, I think Lucci would go well together with Peeta um, because Peeta is very similar to Rem in that they're just like these sweet little like innocent good boys. Like, Rem is, you know, he's he's very down to earth and even though he's, you know, got this troubled upbringing, he still makes the most of his life. And Peeta's like the same way. He's just like this baker and he like ends up, you know, defeating everyone um, in the Hunger Games. So yeah, I guess the Hunger Games would ship well with my characters. <laughs> and lastly, question number 10, I'll never let go. I'll never let go, Jack. Is there a character you've written that would be the hardest for you to kill off if you ever had to? Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I know that there will be deaths in this series and that just kills me because I have killed off characters in my other novels in Ranakori Realm. Um, did I kill Did I kill anyone off in a Bargo's Riddle? I can't even remember. <laughs> No, I don't think so. But um, but definitely in Ranakori Realm, like, that was the hardest thing I ever had to do. So for the Celestial Code, I know, like, there's so many characters I already love. Um, so the probably the biggest character would be Leo. Yes, I have a Leo in my story, too. Like, this is so funny. Like, everyone has Leos, because Leo's a good name, right? Um, but he's just so near and dear to my heart. And I think one of the things that, you know, would make me so hard if I had to kill him off was is that like I just know his backstory which I haven't revealed in the first book yet it's going to be revealed in like later books but it just like it just makes me like love him all the more I'm just and he's Lucci's mentor and so I just know how much he means to Lucci and it makes him mean so much to me all right you guys so that's it for the Titanic writing tag I loved this tag so much I'm not sure who has been tagged in this video already so I will link a couple people down below that I'm going to tag but you are free to do this tag anyways even if I don't mention your name thank you guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel and leave me a comment down below if there's any answers that surprised you and I will see you guys in my next video until next time bye